we're so. okay. We are recording. Okay, so so he's gonna show us how to put the dowel pin in. You can see he's got two here, and you got the one on the other side already. Yeah, so that uh, the other side already. Earlier, I was making a mistake in the importing. Can you show? Can you show the class the other dowel pin? Yeah. Just, Instead of import, wait, wait, wait. Can you, Dal, before you get there, can you show the class which three dial pins I'm referencing, please? Just spin yeah. this around. Dial There's one more, right? Yeah, the, Where's the third one? Third one I didn't insert again. I was going to insert. Oh, okay. So we can insert. It. We can insert the third. Oh, you don't have the planes yet, though. Third one goes on like the the back side side. I don't think he's talking about the middle one. Yeah, I'll just import another one, then I install it in here. Just the okay. process of this uh, recording is importing the dial pin. Okay, why well, don't you just go ahead and show us, you can hide one and reinst reinstall it. Also, once you have it in there, you can just control well, C and control D. Why you don't have to Why doesn't it. he just put his, his third dial pin on the back side in? Uh, just because he didn't have his construction geometry created, right? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, for this process, we have to remember when we're going to import, we have to import the Satio file. Satio file, which is I imported earlier from the, from uh, car, car line. Okay, stop. Okay. Stop. Does, is that the part, did I give you that dial pin or you guys just find one? Mm -hmm. No, you gave the bullet one, but you also said to just grab one, so okay. you weren't specific on that. Okay, I think we've done a, a few car lane parts. Do you guys feel comfortable if you have that part number, you guys can find the, the dial pin? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, all right. So from here, uh, wait, wait, wait. You downloaded the CAD model, right? Yes. Okay, so after you downloaded it, you went and found it in your folder. So you, can you show us the folder? Yes, sir. So that's where it's at now after you downloaded it. It showed up in your downloads, right? Yes. Okay, and then what did you do from there? From here, in my Katia, go into this plus button, import, this arrow, Katia file, it shows me in download, highlight it, file name, open, it's coming here, boom, and all this, and I say okay. <coughs> it comes another uh, dialog box, it says this one you want to have it imported, it's already imported. This one, it should be imported, I don't know why at this time. Maybe because it's already there. Oh, because it's already there. So maybe, and you have to be at the assembly level when you do that, right? You try and find another one for us. Yeah. It's going to be download. It's here now, and then I know it's here. Go back to Katia, import, Katia file, this file, for the input. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's because it's the same dog pain, it's not being in a deal. But that's the way it has to be. The same it seems like they were two different file types. There was a cat file and there was an XLM file. No, it's going to be in here. It's okay, gotcha, here. gotcha. It's already here. It sounds like this. It was the same one? Okay. Yep. Oh, really? Okay. But this one is come on the X axis, but the one you showed us at the car market is going straight up in the yeah, that's, I don't know if they they flipped it. 
Did anybody that got a dowel pin in, did theirs come in like this or did it come straight up and down? My, mine came in the exact same way as that did. And I had to just basically put the robot on it and then just uh, edit it. But I also reopened my um, my same assembly just now, and it still shows when you first open it again. It will show them sideways, but as soon as you update, it will give you those. Um, oh, right. Your contacts and everything, and it will update it and basically set it up right, depending on how you have it set to your part. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what? I just remembered, you guys. What you have to do is you guys have to add your name to this because somebody else will insert it into the collaboration. And you may or may not have problems like. I think that, you, yeah, I think that happened to me too. If, if somebody, like, where the hell's my pin go? And I just like imported it, and like it's not there anymore. But it's the same round pin. Right. I think the safe play would be to add your name into it, like do a save copy and add your name on it. And then that way, if somebody has the exact same dowel pin, it doesn't affect your drawing, which seems hokey as shit to me. But. That might be an issue. How does that work if we all import them differently? I don't, I don't think that it would override somebody else's unless you're taking it from their assembly to begin with. Yeah, I think the thing is it's already in the collaboration, right? So we, yep. if we stick it in the collaboration again, it's got two of the same thing. Maybe it doesn't matter because it's, it's different owners. Hmm. Right? Because when we yeah, go... yeah. I don't know. I, th I think that's kind of like the same thing that happened with the materials last quarter. It was, it's, uh... Yeah, there's like a thousand of us have the material. Yeah. We all have, like, instead of it just pulling from one source, we go and we upload the aluminum, and then all of a sudden there's aluminum with a student's name on it. So I don't, it doesn't, some doesn't seem to seem hokey to me about how that works. I shouldn't, uh, well, I know when I was in production, we just had a library. We didn't go to the car lane because we'd already pulled them all in. And we just pulled them from our libraries. Yeah, there's a lot of fail saves with that to make it not do that in production. So that we're constantly staying with the car lane? So that you're not messing with other people's stuff. That's uh, why you isolate it. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so let's see if we can just insert it. Existing product. If they have one product, like this. So they right now is in here. And that is the same part number. I guess it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it I is. thought we got a different one. I'm so blown away by that. And then I go double click on the assembly and make sure I'm on the assembly, and then I go. Manipulation and I go Stop, slow down for the video. Slow down what you're clicking on. Show them in the manipulator. What tab is it under? It's under the assembly. Okay. And then which one is it called? It's called just leave it just leave it there for a sec. Okay, just leave it there for a sec. Put it back on the other picture. Right right there. What does that thing say? It says manipulate. Okay. Move the component with the pointer either in the translation or in other. Okay, and then we're gonna hit the down arrow. And we hit the down arrow. We have a four option. The best way is a smart move, but I the manipulator free. Oh, you guys and did the smart move? Yeah, it, it, it has a smart move too. But it's a little bit complicated. That's the reason the best way is manipulate. Okay. And pan it free. You grab your part. Where is the part now? Uh, I like this one. Manipulate. I'd zoom up closer so we can see it. You can grab it with the axis. Oh, you know what? I thought that was going to rotate. I'd... Okay, so you you don't. I don't think you need to pick that. I think you just grab that and move it closer. 
Yeah, and then I grab it again. I move it close as many as I want. Okay. But making sure it's close to my assembly lid because right now it's so far. Yeah, it gets confusing if it's far away. I get it closer as much as I can. And I see it's closer, so it'll stay on this one. And it will stay. Then I say, take something green with this line I have. Where it goes oh, is that the line in the back? Oh, that's is that there. the line in the front or the back? Is it on the front? But unfortunately, the, this one in the H I T is go all the way this time. I have to do it another time. But at this time, I go with this up hand. I go with the Z. How about it? Okay. Grab it. So just go up. Make sure it's not losing the link. Now it's in the top of my car. And you're using that line that's offset from the the engineering part, the mm -hmm. radius of that dowel pin, right? Yes, sir. Middle click on your dowel pin so it doesn't spin all out of whack like that. I tap the middle it. button. Just tap it. Just yes. tap the middle button. There, see how it recenters it? Now when you rotate, you can rotate about the dowel pin. Yes. Zoom in, I say okay to this one. Zoom in. Wait, wait, can you show us where we're at in reference to the part now? Yes. Yeah. Give me the water part. Well, give me the side view so they can see where it's going to touch the part. It's going to touch the Keep line. going. I created the bed. Is that line, is that line touching? Yeah. This line, this line? No. That line, the vertical line, is it touching the yellow part? It's supposed to be offset. No, it's offset. You gotta spin it more so I can oh see I couldn't see until you spun it. Yeah. Okay, offset. so now we just gotta go straight down. Yeah, like instead of going straight down, I zoom in. The best thing is zoom in. When you assemble it. Uh, Middle yeah. click on where you want to spin so it doesn't do that. Yeah. the face, contact, did you guys all see what he hit, that was kind of fast, everybody see which button he hit, his face, okay there you have it, yes sir, okay I hope that helps you guys to get the dowel pin put in there, 